Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about anemia. This is very common topic. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on i button and you will get link of Hindi lecture or you can directly visit to channel my student support system. What is anemia? Anemia is not a specific disease. Actually, it is a clinical syndrome or manifestations of a lot of underlying disorders. It is characterized by lower number of RBCs in the blood and less than normal hemoglobin level. As a result, the amount delivered to body tissue and cells is also diminished. Uh, how we will classify anemias? Anemias are classified in many ways and one of them is based on causes. Based on causes, anemias are classified into three types, hypoproliferative anemia, hemolytic anemia and anemias due to blood loss. Now we will discuss them one by one. Uh, first is hypoproliferative anemia. In hypoproliferative anemias, the bone marrow cannot produce adequate number of erythrocytes or RBCs. Inadequate production of erythrocyte may result from many uh, problems such as number one, bone marrow damage due to some medications or some chemicals or from lack of some uh, factors which are essential for uh, uh, erythrocyte synthesis. Uh, such as iron, vitamin B12, folic acid and erythropoietin. Hemolytic anemia. In hemolytic anemia, there is increased destruction of RBCs. Hemolytic lysis means to destroy. The increased erythrocyte destruction results in decreased hemoglobin in the blood and ultimately tissue hypoxia. Hemolysis can result from an abnormality within the erythrocyte itself such as sickle cell anemia or due to glucose 6-phosphatase dehydrogenase deficiency. Sometimes abnormality in plasma may also result in uh, hemolysis such as immune hemolytic anemias or from direct injury to the erythrocyte during circulation within circulatory system. Third one is anemia due to blood loss. In this type of anemia, the number of RBCs are reduced due to heavy bleeding of any region. Bleeding may be of any region such as bleeding from a gastrointestinal tract, uh, bleeding uh, from due to intestinal uh, parasites, that is worm infestation, epistaxis or nosebleed, trauma, accidents and severe hemorrhage due to accidents and bleeding from genitourinary tract that is menorrhagia. So all these contribute to anemia. Depending upon level of hemoglobin, anemias are again classified into three types. Normal level of hemoglobin ranges from 14 to 18 gram per 100 ml or dl deciliter of blood in the men and 12 to 16 gram per deciliter for women. So this is normal range and below this there is anemia. Uh, mild anemia is the level decreases up to 10 gram per deciliter. It means for men it is 10 to uh, 14 gram and for women it is 10 to 12 gram. So in this range the client will be suffering from mild anemia. Then moderate anemia hemoglobin level 8 to 9.9 .9, then it will be classified as moderate anemia and severe anemia is classified as hemoglobin level below 7.9 gram per deciliter. Clinical manifestations. Mostly patients remain asymptomatic in mild to moderate anemia. Symptoms may appear as fatigue, pain in the bones, chest and joints shortness of breath, 
डिजीनेस टेकिकार्डिया जनरल वीकनेस पिलर स्किन एंड म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन पिलर नेल्स कोल्ड हैंड्स एंड फीट दीज आर द बेसिक क्लिनिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन नाउ हाउ वी विल डायग्नोज द एनिमिया फर्स्ट वन इज हिस्ट्री टेकिंग एंड फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन कैन रिवील द लो लेवल ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन देन फॉर कन्फर्मेशन वी गो फॉर ब्लड इन्वेस्टिगेशन सच एज कंप्लीट ब्लड काउंट विद हिमोग्लोबिन रेटिक्यूलोसाइट काउंट सीरम आयरन एंड टोटल आयरन बाइंडिंग कैपेसिटी सीरम विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व एंड पोलिक एसिड लेवल्स स्टूल एग्जामिनेशन फॉर ओकल्ट ब्लड एंड ओ आयन सिस्ट हाउ वी विल मैनेज एनीमिया सो मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एनीमिया डिपेंड्स अपॉन अंडरलाइंग कॉज ऑफ एनीमिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आयरन डेफिशियंसी एनीमिया इज देयर देन आयरन प्रिपेरेशन सच एज टेबलेट्स और लिक्विड्स ऑफ फेरस सल्फेट फेरस ग्लूकोनेट और फेरस फ्यूमिरेट्स आर प्रेस्क्राइब इन द सिचुएशन वेन ओरल आयरन इज नॉट एब्जोर्व प्रोपरली देन आई वी और आई एम एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ आयरन मे बी नीडेड देन डाइट मोडिफिकेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द डाइट हाई इन आयरन सच एज ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स कैन बी गिवन टू द क्लाइंट और एडवाइज एंड इफ ए प्लास्टिक एनीमिया इज देयर देन इम्यूनोसप्रेसिव थेरेपी सच एज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एंटीथाइमोसाइट ग्लोब्यूलिन साइक्लोस्पोरिन or by uh, may be given and by bone transplant or peripheral blood uh, stem cell transplant may help and if folate deficiency is there then it is treated by 1 uh, mg of folic acid per day and diet vitamin b12 deficiency or megaloblastic anemia is treated by vitamin b12 replacement monthly monthly आई एम इंजेक्शन ऑफ विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व आर प्रेस्क्राइब सिकल सेल एनीमिया मे बी ट्रीटेड विद पेरिफ्रल ब्लड स्टेम सेल ट्रांसप्लांट एंड इफ द कॉजेज ऑफ एनीमिया इज वर्म इन्फेस्टेशन देन एंटी हेलमिट आर प्रेस्क्राइब टू क्योर द अंडरलाइंग कॉज दैट इज वर्म इन्फेस्टेशन फॉर ब्लड लॉस ड्यू टू एनीमिया cause is identified and treated such as if the uh, cause is ulcer then treatment of ulcer is done then treatment of piles is done to stop the uh, bleeding uh, surgery may be needed for these disorders in severe anemia blood transfusion may be prescribed to increase the hemoglobin level nursing management proper assessment is done by health history and diet history and physical examination and the nursing care plan is prepared the nurse should focus on assisting the patient to uh, prioritize the activities and to establish a balance between activity rest is acceptable for the client to reduce fatigue patient with chronic anemia should be encouraged to maintain some physical activities and exercise to prevent deconditioning that result from inactivity dietary teaching sessions uh, should be individualized involve family members and include cultural aspects related to food preferences and food preparation to prevent nutritional anemia the nurse should inform the client or patient that alcohol interfere with the utilization of essential nutrients and should advise the patient to avoid or limit his or her intake of alcohol the patient and relatives should be informed that not all anemias are associated with iron deficiency so that the indiscriminate of use of iron preparation is prevented patient with acute blood loss or severe hemolysis may be decreased may have the decreased tissue perfusion due to decreased level of oxygen and rbcs uh, from the decreased blood volume so the nurse should prepare iv fluids and plasma expanders that may be prescribed patient with severe anemia may require oxygen inhalation therapy so to prepare and start oxygen inhalation 
as prescribed by the physician. The nurse monitors the patient's vital signs and pulse oximeter reading closely to record and record it in the nurse's record and notify the physician if necessary. During discharge planning, the patient is educated to adhere to the drug therapy, diet modification plans and visit health center for follow-up care. Thank you students for watching this video. You can subscribe the channel My Student Support System for latest updates. You can like Facebook page and for making your notes visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com and in the search box you can search anemia then you can get the contents. You can uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.